Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsborough. A little mad trip with the boys. We celebrate. G'day, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Jamo and Dylan Show. Today is episode 214. Here we are, mate, back home. Back home, back in Perth. Very hot weather here. Hasn't rained for two months. Yeah, bro, 38 on the weekend coming up and a 40 Indeed. on a Saturday. Um, it's been, been warm coming back from over east. It has, yeah. It was a bit rainy in yeah, Melbourne, especially yeah. the last... Yeah, actually, Melbourne. no, the day that um, Grace and I left Melbourne, you were in Sydney, yeah. rained the whole day. Melbourne's shocking weather, bro. Yeah. Shocking. Actually, rained after I played golf, which we'll quickly talk about. Yeah. So, last day of Melbourne, I linked up with Will Taylor, Checkers, and Caden McDonald to play a round of golf. Lovely, lovely. Um, got the win, which was lovely, but that's not what it was about. It was about friendship, camaraderie, and happiness. There you go, man. It was good. Good bunch of blokes. and um, Last course. Yeah, I'd actually say not as good as the ones we play at yeah. over here. That's not me being pretentious or anything. Yeah. It's literally just our courses are a little bit nicer. Yep. But, hey, this was a public course, um, and it was still – it was a nice morning. It started to rain on the last hole, so we actually got through most of it yeah. without the hassle. But I'm um, be happy with that, indeed. And the night before that, no, actually a couple nights before that, when we recorded the podcast, yep, on the thir- last Thursday we recorded, we went to Entrecot. Yes, a French restaurant, mm-hmm. a very um, classy establishment, beautiful in on the Fitzroy. inside. Yep, very nice aesthetic. the The staff are quite proper. Proper, yeah. Mm. However, I I reviewed it on Google just, and I gave him a four star. Yeah, four out of five. Because um, I just think for the price, I think the food should have been of a higher quality. Yeah. But I still think it's a nice spot. Yeah. yeah. I actually really like the food. Apart yeah. from, oh, we, we actually tried a snail. We did. Es- they were better than I thought they would be. Escargo. Yeah. Um, we tried that. What was the seasoning slash sauce they not soak sure. it in? It was a garlic something. It was garlic something, and it had a green color the to flavor it. Flavor was a little bit. No, the flavor was all right. The texture was a little bit air for yeah. me. Um, but we tried it, and that's what it was about. Uh, we enjoyed it very muchly, and I actually enjoyed my steak and frites. Yep, yep. Called frites over there. So. Yeah, it was pretty good. Like you said, four out of five. I think it's which fair. would equate to an eight out of yeah, ten. Yeah, that's a good. And I, I, I gave it. That. I gave it an eight as well. Yeah. So, um, but you actually also did another formal review for the other place in Geelong. Yes, I gave them a two star out of five because they were um, look. Four, they just went up to scratch. Ten. We waited a long time for our food. We did. No one at the table was happy with it. Mm-hmm. Everyone gave them sort of bad reviews. So yeah. I just thought, well, the business and, you know, the people need to know. Yeah. Well, that's the only way they'll get better. Exactly. I don't, I don't feel criticism. bad giving a bad review. Because like, no. if they're good, I'll give them a good one. Yeah. You know? Most definitely. <laughs> we're paying and money. We are. We're paying money for good food. Yeah. Speaking of good food, we're catching up with Josh Rognetta. Yes, we're getting a Nando's with him. He's going under the knife shortly. Yeah, he's getting a little, what is it? Sinus. Nose job. Yep, yep. No, he's getting some. He's got lots of sinus infections, young Joshua. Yeah, very. That's why he talks like this. Weasley, weasley, nasal. So he's fixing that up, um, and hopefully he won't get sick anymore. He had about ten rounds of antibiotics last year, yeah. so. <laughs> He, I'm so pretty funny. sure he did, which is he just did. ridiculous. Yeah, maybe that's why we didn't see him as much as we would have liked. Oh, mate, creating always, antibiotic resistance. He is nothing to work sniffing on. Sniffing up in his room. Fucking hell, bro. Sniffing up in his room with yep. him, man. No drug connotations there. No, nah, not for Josh. Not for Josh. Little Southampton update deal. Oh, also, before we get on to that, yep. you went to Sydney. I did, yep. So, obviously, Thursday was our last night together. We had a nice meal. Grace had a big win at the CAS, actually, I remember, Oh, yeah, we went to the CAS just to check it out. Interesting layout there. Yeah, I don't think it's as good as um, per- Crown Perth. No, honest. the actual, like, the Crown Towers is very tall. Yeah. However, the Crown Casino was very small. Yeah, yeah. Or there just wasn't many playable tables no, for young people. But there was, um, Grace had some luck on the, the money wheel. wheel. Yep. Yeah, so she crazy. So 10 bucks on 47. It hit that, like, three out of four times. They were starting to get stressed. Crazy. The pit boss, I could see his face turning yeah. white, bro. Well, someone had like a decent chunk on I think the second one as well. I think put $100 on it yeah. and then instead of 4.2K, mm. not bad, bro. I think it's 47 over there. Four point, no, no, wait, 45? 
No, he was 47. 47. So, yeah, 4, 000, he got 4,700 yeah. back. Crazy. Is it 43 here? I'm pretty sure. I can't 42. even remember. I haven't played here for a long time. But it's 47 over there. Anyway, they didn't have... I wanted to play a little bit of um, Blackjack. Yeah. All the tables were it's like thirty, yeah, forty dollars plus. Yeah, they have expensive tables. There's no two dollar fifty roulette like nah. we have over here, bro. Living good. A little five bucker. They they did have five bucker roulettes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They did. Yeah, but um, um, yeah. So that was our last night together. Me and Carly went off to Sydney, mm -hmm. which was it was a really cool place. Yeah, actually, um, very pretty city. You know, we got to explore Manly Beach, which was sick. Yeah, good weather there. We did. We got sort of twenty six ish and sunny, which yeah, was nice, nice. Nice change from Melbourne. Um, had some good food. Went to some like a cool little bar that was near our hotel, which was nice, kind of like old school. Yep. And then we tried to actually check out Crown Sydney. Now, see, I just assumed that they had a casino there. It's a private casino. You have yes. to apply to go there. In Sydney, they have lots of different yeah. casinos. And then so we went to the other popular one, Star, Star and yeah. walked around, which was actually all right. Star all right? It was all right. Yeah. It was all right. Um, what, yeah. so Crown Perth still beats that? Wow. Oh, I did like stuff. I like Crown Perth as a venue. I like that it's spacious. <laughs> yeah, it is very Crown spacious. Crown Perth is a nice yeah. spot. But yeah, overall, Sydney's a very nice city. Mm -hmm. I like it. You like it. You had some few more days in Melbourne? Yeah. What did we get up to? We just went to a couple of different cafes, mm. restaurants. Um, Filling up the days. Yeah, exactly. It didn't do anything too crazy. It was just um, relaxation for the last couple of days of the trip. Yeah. And yeah, we came back home. Back to reality. Indeed. On the way home, I watched a Netflix documentary, yes. a two part documentary called, I think it's like The Last Stop is Larimar. Larimar. Yeah. Now, this place, Larimar, is a small town in Northern Territory. Looked like it used to be um, a bit of fun back in the 80s and yeah. stuff, but now it's a deserted ghost town with 10 people. Yeah. It used to be 11. Yep. However, a bloke went missing. They Paddy. a mystery, bro. I won't go too deep into it because I want some of you guys to a watch it. A polarizing character. Yes, yes. Um, it seemed like you either love him or hate him, but then towards the end, it seemed like most of the people just hated him. Yeah, it got. he seemed like the larrikin of the town. Yes. And then it seemed like he kind of annoyed everyone. Well, he was a prick. Like, there was a dead kangaroo... And then he dragged it outside one of the woman's windows yeah, to stink like it her. out. He chopped off a donkey dick, chucked it down her driveway. And then her husband lives down the road. Yeah. He's like, oh, bro. He's all messed <laughs> up, bro. Too many emu exports, no doubt. But it was actually like a very well shot documentary. I liked how it was done. So basically, this guy called Paddy goes missing um, along with his dog. On a night out, after a yep. night. But yep. everything in his house is in order. Everything's neat and tidy. He's just gone missing and there's no clues anywhere. And then they interview the remaining 10 people in the town and it's like a who done it type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And it was a good watch. I enjoyed it. I just didn't like the fact we still don't know who yeah, did exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was the only issue I had with it. They was, just can't figure it out. Maybe nah. we need to go to Laramo and just... I reckon we'd be able bro. to get it. Like, we'd be able to have a chat with them and we'd just feel their energy. Yeah, yeah. Um, even there was one bloke in the town who has a crocodile. Yes. And they thought maybe they got into a bar fight, accidentally killed him, fed it to fed the crocodile. To the croc that's it. Well, you'd never know. No. But they were good friends. Like, would that actually... Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of different things. Feed them to the gators, boy. Give that a watch and give us some feedback on that because that's one that I gators. enjoyed. Um, yeah, Southampton update. Wonderful. These lads are just they are as good as it gets, bro. Exactly. The quality of person that they are. So we're still waiting on the kits, but that's fair. Like obviously, it's coming from England, and um, it takes time. They're special kits. We're getting goals, like little balls on the inside of our kit that you get if you score a yeah, goal. Yeah, we not talked about that. I don't know if we have. Maybe we did. Maybe I did. Touch but it's on just it. elite. It is elite. Very excited for that. Um, Oh, I've been thinking about it every day. Like, I remember too, when you're yeah. a kid and you're waiting for something in the mail? I've been looking at the photo of it. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just sick. That's nice. And then they um, replied to you and said... Yeah, so I basically just told them, we talked about it in last podcast, timestamp here, have a listen. And then they came back and said, lads, whenever you're in the UK, come down and we'll give you a tour of the training facilities. Staplewood Campus. How crazy is that, bro? Amazing. And they have great state-of-the-art facilities, obviously, being a former they were, Premier League team. And they could be in, back in the Prem. When we're then. over there. It'll be like pre-season, I think. Road trip for yeah, us? We'll go down no, there. No Even problem. if, like, let's say 
we went down one day. Oh, when does the Prem start? It's like mid August. Yeah, Augusty. Okay, they might be around those areas. Yeah. We go there for match week one. Oh yes, that's providing Southampton get promoted. What's the stadium called? St Mary's. Saint. Let me have a. I want to see where it is in relation to the town. Oh yeah, right on the sort of on the on the port harbour port. Yes. Yeah, sick. Um, What's around there? We've got. Speedy, is there anywhere you know, a little pub or something? Oh, there'll be pubs. There always is. Let me find a pub I want to go. I want to go to a corner pub, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. Actually, like, I want to go like where the lads go before yeah. Southampton games. I want to go to a genuine pub. Remember a while ago? Oh, it, the Chapel Arms. Oh. Take me there, son. Has it got good reviews? Four star. Yeah. Oh, look at the stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There we go. That's where we're going. Catch us at the Chapel Arms, bro. There was also a, a cl- a pub in Southampton that followed us on Instagram. Oh, remember? I do remember that, but I can't I remember, can't remember the, name. the name. But they follow us on Instagram and that's just a weird one because we never really discussed, you know, Southampton in general. But a lot of people say, like, that are even from Southampton, it's not the greatest place to go. Yeah. However, for a day, it can't be half bad. I feel like a day trip anywhere is a bit of fun, right? Yeah, I agree. You could go to Larimar and have a good half day. 100%, bro. Sometimes that's all you need in a place. One True. good day and you just, you know, remember it fondly. Sometimes you can spend too much time in a place 100%. and it leaves a sour taste. Yep. 100%. Also, this is something, the last night in Melbourne that Grace and I stayed, there was a stabbing spree. Oh, my God. Right, and he ended up in a hospital right near where we stayed near Fraser's place. So he just ran around with a knife and just stabbed someone's leg, goes away. It was through, um, started in St Kilda, went through South Yarra. Really? Went into the CBD. I think he stabbed like seven people or something. No one died, but there was a couple of really, really significant injuries. That's fucked. And then, because there was a lot of police sirens and stuff, and you know from the view we had, it was down, like you can look at the road. yeah. yeah. And there was just police, police, police. And we were just thinking, oh, maybe they're just turning the lights on to get through the lights, you know, cheeky little that there's some bloke around just no, stabbing everyone. Bro. I didn't realise until I got back here. And it, we got back um, on Sunday night and Dad goes, oh, have a look at this. And he was shocked that we didn't know about it. Stabbing spree in Melbourne, whatever. And then it also took 13 hours to catch him. That's a bit too long. It took from like overnight Come till on. the next day, midday or something to get him. CCTV, Crazy. bro. I don't know. It was quite poor, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, that's poor effort. And then there was also a shooting in Melbourne that night. And so, there was three things that happened that hey, what's night. What's going on in Melbourne that night? I don't know. It was but, in the water. But how did we not know about any of it? I know. Hey, nothing crazy in Sydney happened? Just Ooh. chill. No, there was. I didn't really watch no the murders. news. No, no, true, we don't really do. I that. didn't really hear any. Like, there was no trouble in the streets when I was walking mm. around. Lots of foreigners, lots of travellers. So that was nice, you yeah. know, hearing all these people having fun, sure. the accents. You and I were also talking about Bali before this episode. Yes. So we're going with Bagus. the lads, ten of us. Yep, on the thirty. Or should I say the date? Nah. Oh, we're leaving at the end of the month. We're only there for a bit. Yeah, there that, you, go. oh, you, guys you see are, us, you guys you see are us. gonna follow us there. Some will. If you see us, you see us. Um, going to Bali, we are lads holiday. Yep, and hopefully it will be good fun. I think that it can't not be fun with exactly. ten people. And look, we've discussed this. I think there will be clashes. It's I think be fun to there see. There will who. be fights. There will be issues, but it will be such a fun thing to just be involved in. It's leavers part two, pretty much. Yeah. Now we all have a bit of money and we're not scorny 17-year-olds camping. Yeah, that's true. Nice villa. Bit of money and notoriety. Yeah. It's going to be fun though. I haven't been to Bali in a long time, five years for me. Yeah, I've never gone to a big villa with lots of people yeah, either. Yeah, neither, bro. I've normally just done the the small trips. It's going to be good. Oh, it will be. Trying to we'll avoid that Bali belly. Oh, Don't bro. Don't get sick around the lads, bro, because ain't no one taking care of you. Nah. For sure. I'll and be on the plane. Wh- where are you going to go? To be fair, our villa looks like it's a good size. Yeah. Oh, that'll be scary. Begging one of them to go to the chemist for you. I just really, Please, bro. I just really hope that if anyone gets sick, it's not one of us. Yeah, 100%. I think we've done enough good in the world for us to be repaid in good faith. I'll be taking, I don't know, what do they say? I'll be taking red cordial. I've heard that. Yeah. Maybe a probiotic. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There's tablets you can take in the lead up. I think it has to be, you probably have to start now. So your stomach just gets used to that stuff. I think we should look into that. Just go to a chemist and say, go into Bali. 
what and it fucking like hard and readies up your guts. Ready gut. It's a probiotic. Ready up. It's like a oh, just say what to take before going to Bali to avoid Bali belly. What? You know, H went yep. to Bali to perform at the Lawn in Changu. Nice venue. Went there. Um, yeah, and. He got barley belly, oh, no. but he got it when he went back to England. So he was only there for like, let's say two nights Yep, on the plane, starting to feel a bit queasy, gets back home, barley belly, but he's back home. I would prefer that than having it there. Having it there? Nah, fuck that, bro. Especially when we're not going for that long. You don't want it to like ruin the small time you have there. Um, yeah, exactly. Because it takes a day. Yeah. We've got to buy some good travel insurance. Have you done that yet? I haven't I'd have one. actually, yeah. Who'd you use? I just did it through the airline. Okay. So like I booked mine because I have a Qantas account yep. through them yep. with Jetstar, but then I just bought their travel insurance. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is I think this is it. Travel N. Okay. Clinically proven over ninety percent protection. Travel insurance for your belly. Reduce the risk of traveler's diarrhea. Okay. Nice. Maybe we'll go to a little chemist and have a have a yeah, because I remember there was this oh, one time before I went, there was this navy blue circle container mm. and it had like these big, they were big pills, but I didn't get sick. In a health travel bug? In a health plus, that's In a, a health plus family today. brand. In a health. Well, you, maybe you guys can let us know. Some mm. one of you might know the name for it. Definitely. DM us, please. But yeah, it's sure. going to be fun. We'll have many exciting. stories. We might even have to record one while we're there. Yes. But I'm just trying to think. I don't really want to take the equipment over. Uh, do they have studios here? They probably would have a few. Oh, I'll have a quick look right now. Oh, no. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, wait. I had something to say. But do you want to go? If you have yours, I haven't it. thought of it. No, so you go. All right. So I was just telling you before we started recording that yesterday dad was telling me about a marketplace issue. He yeah, has. this is funny. Yeah. So basically... Dad's on Facebook and he's he's on Marketplace. He's trying to sell some old speakers, some old equipment, you know, an amp and whatnot. Now, he's gone to Marketplace to sell these things and he doesn't like his friends or people he knows. Knowing his business. Exactly, which is fair enough. He says, oh, like, I don't know if anyone's seeing my ad. No one has actually replied to it yet. Like, oh. I, I, I'm not happy. So he thinks it's been hidden by Facebook maybe Exactly. Or he thinks that he's done, like, the settings wrong. So he wants me to check it out. I said, yep, no worries. I'll do that for you, Dad. So I check it out, can't find it. And then I look at his settings and he has hidden it from his friends. And obviously I'm a friend with him on Facebook. So can't he goes, he goes, unfriend me. Okay, I can, yeah. All right, Whatever. dad. Thanks. So I say, right, I'll do this for you as long as you friend me back. Okay. So unfriend each other. I have a look on there. There it is straight away. Third thing, third option there. Uh, his his equipment and then i go okay it's there and then i went back on his phone and it's been seen by 31 people so yeah. people are seeing sorry it's been clicked on by 31 that's good, people that's good so i said dad the offers will come just you got to be patient right add me back add me back please he goes what i said oh, i've just sent you a friend request like you know we're just doing that to help you out so send one back he goes why do i have to accept it we're friends in real life Come on, Dad. Like, Dad, like... Dad? Dad, like, <laughs> please. Oh, I'm being serious uh, now. Dad, like, just accept the friend request. Yeah. And he starts giggling. He's like, <laughs> like he holds the power over me. Holding he doesn't, that over you, bro. He doesn't want me to be a friend on Facebook because he thinks it's so trivial. It's just silly. Why do I have to be a friend is, with you virtually? It's important. Then he goes, well, I don't ever post on Facebook, so what's the point? You do. What if you want to buy something for... Oh, Except, well, what, yeah. what if I update my profile picture, Dad? Not going to like it. Not going to like it. I reckon he gave it like four or five minutes and then he accepted Finally, it. Finally, yeah. And I was actually a bit scared there for a moment that like my dad wouldn't even be a friend with me on Facebook. Facebook, bro. And Fuck he was being hell. cheeky about it. Oh. Has it come back to you yet or no? It hasn't. It's gone forever. How are these studios okay. looking? Yeah, they look nice. Actually? Yeah, pretty legit. What are they charging? I think I have to contact. Oh, okay. We'll figure it out. We'll yeah. look into it. I think there'll be a lot over there. Get a couple of the lads on as guests. We'll say, boys, we're going to the studio for we two hours. We could probably vlog it too. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I'll bring the vlog camera to Bali. That yeah. could be crazy. Boys, Bali, 
Might be a lot of editing involved, but that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Nothing new. Um, well, um, we have a voice message. Oh, we do. Let's yep. get stuck into that. Confessions too. We hope you're enjoying the Jammo and Dylan show. It's now time to have your stories heard and your questions answered. To be featured on the potty, message the boys at Jammo and Dylan on Instagram. Hey boys, hope you're having an amazing day and that you're nice and recovered from your big Melbourne trip. I just want to say, I just listened to the BTV potty and I'm so fucking proud of you guys. I wish I was there. I'm a mama, so I have baby responsibility, so I couldn't go to BTV, which is so fine. I was so happy to listen and hear your experience. I literally had tears at certain, like when you were describing before going on the stage, like I felt the goosebumps and like just things. I'm just so excited for you guys. And it's just made me like, yeah, it's just made me really happy listening to that podcast. I'm just happy for you. Um, I feel like, yeah, proud little mum for you both. And yeah, I'm just so happy. I'm so excited for you guys. You guys are smashing it and you're just going to keep smashing it. And you're awesome. And I love you guys. And yeah, I just hope you have... An awesome day. And she's so mama, I love you. <laughs> I'm about to cry. <laughs> Bro, she's so nice. What the hell? People loved that episode. How about Carly's mum? Yep, she cried too. What the hell? We got a message from Josh Drognetta saying, Boys, unreal energy and unreal vibes in that People episode. People love that episode. And I love it now too. Yeah. But I didn't think of it anything of it. I think we were just riding on an emotional high from the whole trip and yep. the experience and Wow, that's got me emotional because she was just like beautiful from her. Our energy made her feel happy, then her energy made us feel happy. Spread good vibes, guys. My God. Yes. Damn. What was her name? Emma. Emma the mama. Mama Emma. Oh, Emma, Emma Rog. Yeah. Oh, shout out to you. Hope your child's well and yes. healthy and whatnot yes. and not New causing family. you mischief. All right, we got a few confessions this week. Oh, yes. New People. Year. Are confessing and I fucking love it. I love it, bro. Oh, we might even in the future do some live confessions on TikTok and Instagram. That could be fun. Get some you guys. Punchings? In, oh, hell yeah, bro. Join that. Naughty. Naughty. All right. Confessions. It's now time to dive into your deepest and darkest confessions. Let's hear what the people have to get off their chest. Here we go. And this is another very kind message. Oh, yes. Hey, boys. Hope the new year started to find its groove for you and you sent it in celebration of your success from 2023. A little fan note to say how much I appreciate your show. Oh, my God. You guys are a vessel of emotions that continually deliver happiness week in and week out. Your auntie says it best when she mentions your pure ability to connect people in times of disconnection. Yes. Yep, that was a beautiful line. Oh, goosebumps everywhere. Like Rog, I've been studying physio for the last four years and have now finished. At times it was hard. Wait, quick question. Sorry to interrupt. That's all right. So I've just had goosebumps all over my body for the second time today. I had it last week as well. Yep, I've got goosebumps in arms, legs. You don't get it in face. No. You don't get it in your genitals. No. Because I was just thinking... Weird where, thought, but like it was in my legs, it's in my arms. Where the sensation is. Wasn't on my dick just then, was yeah. it? So what is it actually, do you know the science behind I it? I don't. Give well, us. We can find out. We can, the power of the internet. Um, yeah, because I just didn't have any sensation anywhere other than my legs and arms and maybe the back of my neck. When you feel certain powerful, a part of your brain called the hypothalamus sends a message via your nerves to the muscles in your skin to tighten up. Okay. When the skin on your body gets tight, your hairs stand up on end and goosebumps form. So it's where your hairs are. And it's always arms. Yeah, I didn't get it in my moustache though. Damn. It's, I just want to know like why certain areas. We have areas. a few doctors who listen. We do. So we do actually know. have a lot of intelligent yeah. people among with all the dumb fucks that listen. So yeah, please let us know. Yes, Send please. us that medical explanation. Continue. All right. Like Rog, I've been studying physio for the last four years and I've now finished. At times it was hard and the 1.5 hour drive to uni was dreaded. What? But you guys made it bearable. 1.5 hours. That is Three hours each. Fuck me. Must be doing like what? How many times a week? You reckon it's one or two? I don't know. Maybe it gets it done in one. True. 
Whether it was awaiting a new app or revisiting old gold material, you helped me find happiness. With everything you've done for me and everyone else listening, I thought it's time to send some energy. The year of wins is here for you guys. Success around every corner and no opportunity missed. You guys have the potential for something so special here and I think the stars will align this year. Much love, Lucas. Oh, the fortune teller. Oh, my God. The fortune teller, bro. Lucas, the fortune teller. Oh, third time. Let's get a goosebumps check deal. That's three times. Three out of three. This is a funny one. Australian Open just around the corner, starting very soon. We got money on this boy. We do. Alex D. Menor. Just because, like... It feels like if an upset was ever going to happen, it's going to be this year. He's at great odds. He's in form. He's just bounced into the top 10. Come on, son. Okay. This is from Mia. Random thought. Is it just me or does Alex Demonor remind me of Rog? A little weasel vibe. So we've got some images here. I see it in I the eyes, Roggy. in the little bit of the hair at the back. Hair. Rog would do that face. He would, yep. Yeah. And then I can see it there as well. Yeah, the Weasley features, no doubt. The demon, Alex Demon. Win me some money, boy. Yeah, we hope he does really well. We really, really hope that he goes far and can win us some money. But hey, we don't bet often, do we? No, but we bet no. responsibly. Here we go. Hello. So I watched you guys at BTV. Thank you. You did amazing. That's, that's really comforting to hear because I was watching a little bit back and when you don't hear as many laughs in the crowd, you get sad. Yep. But hey, we did well. It was our first time. Um, I dragged my friend along who has never listened to you guys before. Safe to say she is now a fan. Bro, Beautiful. What are we talking about? I have one question for you guys about BTV. Yay or nay for no shoes? I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw people with no shoes. One guy even yelled at me because I was stepping on his grotty toes. She goes, that's a you problem and you decided to not wear shoes. Um, and she did say that's a you problem to him. She's also sent us a photo with iPhone 4 quality. Yeah, that's low. That camera, well, camera's dirty. And then she said, please enjoy this. And it's a video, not loading, but I assume it's a no shoes wearer. Of his toes. In the dirt. Um, and I did reply... Now, people have to be wearing shoes at BTV. That's a bit filthy. Glad you came along. Bro, you've got to be wearing shoes. Definitely. I think... got to be wearing shoes. It's unsafe in that environment to not be wearing shoes. Very dirty. And, it, yeah, it is grotty. You can get, like, dirt build up under those nails for years and years. Toe infections. You might need to get your foot cut off. Yes. Surgi oh, trench foot, bro. You might get it surgically removed. Oh, that trenchy. Most definitely. Also, I just, because the next bloke's name's Toby, mm. Toby Jizzle's coming. He is. And we filled out a form that he we put did. on his story. We did. We both did to give us the best and chance. And we just hope we can get some time with him. He is. Shout out to the Sidemen. We'd be friends with him, bro. I know it. Yes, most definitely. Um, I think it would be a great connection. I actually just watched the Sidemen hide and seek. I haven't finished it yet, though. Um, but they had 40 different creators on and they were in a rugby all, stadium. All bigger than us? Probably. I know they only, you know, hang out with big dogs, but why don't you give some small fry a chance? I think we're nearly there, though. Give like, some small fry a chance. When we go to England, hopefully we, we make a big impact. Yeah. When they see we're at St. Mary's and we're doing some, some work with the Southampton team, they'll probably be like, okay, they've got connections. Freezy was in the video. Hey, lads, do you guys just want to be the team's podcast entertainment? Oh, yeah. I guess so. I guess. If I have Whatever. time. Um, no, but I'd really love to get connections. I'd love to do a video doing like crossbar challenge with some of the players. Yeah. You know? Been growing up watching those type of videos, so that would be cool. Um, but, yeah, they were doing this hide and seek in an 80,000-seat stadium. Yeah. And Which one? I don't even know what it was oh. called. I think it's a rugby stadium. And... Nah, it's pretty good. It's the Elite video. editing that would have gone into this would have taken weeks and weeks and weeks yeah. and a whole team because it's 40. Uh, there's probably, I'd say, 50 or 60 cameras, 50 or 60 microphones, 40 people running around hiding. Yeah. Mayhem. An hour and a half video. Put on my list, bro. Crazy. Also, I watched a good one with Nico on Milana, mm -hmm. NDL, him in the Philippines, 10 pounds for the day. And there's just, it's a great video and there's, a really, really wholesome moment. Okay. I think you'll like it. Did it's it, a beautiful moment. Okay, I love beautiful yeah, moments. It really is. Do does this video make you want to go to the Philippines one day? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
That's oh, good. I feel like it'd be a fun place to visit. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I guess I want to visit everywhere, you know? That's a good point. But I think the Philippines would be... I think who... Didn't Seb go there from Misfit Mines? Did Seb, I feel like Philippines? Yeah, might I feel like been. he maybe did. But I've seen a few things about it and it looks looks like a nice mm, place. You, sure. I reckon you could have some fun there, no doubt. I'd love to go there. I also, I was showing Dad... Um, I was talking about places we'd love to travel. And yeah. I, I mentioned Japan would be like a sick oh, place to yeah, go. Oh, yeah, bro. And then he was like, yeah, like all the snow there and stuff. And then I said, yeah, but have you seen the south of Japan, Okinawa? Bro, it's like tropical paradise. Bro, it's like white sand beaches, tropical paradise. Yep. You get the best of both worlds in such a small country. Yeah. It's wild. It bro. is quite long, but it's Climates not Climates are so diverse. Yeah, bro. I guess because it's, like you said, it's long, so it goes over the different... Let's say you did like a, a four-week Japan trip, two weeks so south... Sorry, yep. two weeks... No, wait, no, how about like a... Two weeks. Two weeks, yep. one in central, yeah, and, and then yeah, the one yeah, yeah. down south. Oh, bro. Shout out Japan. Shout out Japan, bro. I don't think we'd have many listeners, but there might be some mixed Maybe listeners. Maybe we can break into the market. I don't know. Most definitely. If any of you guys are like... You know, half Japanese, have a Japanese parent or grandparent, let us know. Shout yeah, out Yeah, give us like an overview of Japan, what to do, what mm. not to do. I love cherry blossoms. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Most definitely. All right. And we and move I used on. to like Shinji Kagawa as well. Yeah, but he was cool, yeah. bro. Real good at Dortmund. It was all right at United. Yeah. But he was a good bloke. I reckon he would be fun, like have a few yeah. beers with him on a night out. Yeah, bro. Mitoma? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like the Japanese boys um, are fun socially. Yeah. I feel like they get on it. And you know, um, our friend from Brighton, Cam Pepuon. Yeah, yeah, Pepuon. Yep. Um, he put up a story on his Instagram playing golf in Dubai, wow. and I was like, I just replied, okay. and I was like, "Oh, that looks sick." He said, "Yeah, we're on a first team Brighton trip to Dubai at the moment." Whatever. Maybe we can link up with him. We will have a nice. He'd actually do a video with us. Yeah. And they played a cup game the other day and he got minutes. Nice. In the first team. Elite. That's elite. crazy. Love Good luck that. to him for the rest of the season. Most definitely. I really want to know how to say his last name properly. Two more oh, confessions? Two more confessions. Beautiful. And also, it will be a little shorter episode today because we need to meet Rog. He has um, an appointment. Yeah. We need to get there We need there to get soon. to Nando's for him. So we're going to get through these quick. Forgive us. We'll do a big one next week. Right, fellas, I have a story time for the boys. I'd rather be kept anonymous. A bit of backstory. I was living in a house with my aunt and she had this fit nanny who just started working prior to my family visiting from abroad. Do you reckon a nanny's called a nanny because they used to be an older lady? I reckon, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but not anymore, bro. Prior to this, my interactions with the nanny were slightly flirty, but I thought nothing of it. So on the weekend before my family left, we decided we would all have drinks out in the city. Okay, fair. And we thought it would be a good way to break the ice with the new nanny. So as we were headed back to the apartment we were all staying in, she was getting a bit touchy-feely in the taxi after the night out, yeah. right? Obviously didn't mind this, but I was warned not to go near her. Wait, who's warned him? I guess maybe the aunt. Right, okay. So we went back to the apartment and she was staying in my bed and I was staying on the couch. Anyway, I, told, I was told to get her room ready. But as I walked into the room, I noticed she was walking behind me. I just took my clothes and made the bed. But as I walk out of the room, she grabbed me and started kissing me. Bro, this is like the ultimate um, Fantasy, like lust. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is pure lust. One thing led to another and I was about to root her. But I get a call from my... I actually just want to... I hate that word. Oh, bro, it's disgusting. It, it, root is one yeah. of the most disgusting words it's so to describe horrible. sexual intercourse. I get a call from my aunt. And it says his name. What are you doing in there? I walked out of the room and no one could tell. I looked at my phone a few minutes later and there was a text saying, come in when everyone's asleep. Oh my God. I then got the job done. I thought I'd gotten away with this night, but at a family dinner with the lads only months later, it was then revealed that apparently we weren't as quiet as I thought. And my dad proceeded to make the smacking sound against the table in front of a whole restaurant of people. So there you go. <laughs> Caught out. A funny story though. But I think it is um it's valid. I wonder what um the nanny looks like. I know, bro. Fit nanny when you're on holiday. Crazy. All right, last one of the week from Josh. Weird to think that you can be born at the same time as someone in a different country, but you're a different age due to time zones. 
It is weird. That is it. It is very it is weird, bro. Boy. That is same one. date, same time, same year, yep. but different age. Mm-hmm. It's not right, is it? Different birthday. Like you're born at the exact same time on Earth. Yeah, but you hit it first or last. Mm-hmm. We'd be hitting it earlier than like a lot of other. Yeah, places. bro. Well, people in Melbourne are hitting it like. Three 12 hours. hours before Americans yeah. it, go, it gets that far 15 hours Like that's nuts And birth certificate It would state Differences Like that's crazy Bro it's weird Time zones are a bit crazy They are They are They are silly Yeah Actually no They're not silly They're just hard to wrap your head around Yeah They're like just right a now, thing. It makes sense But they're weird Good morning England Right now Yeah exactly We're filming at midday here Let me check LA time right now Right now it is 12.25 on the 11th of Jan. In LA right now, it's 8.25 p.m. last night. Yeah, that's silly to think about. That is dumb, That's bro. so far behind. That's 15 hours behind. So if we were to travel 15 from... 15 hours behind, bro. From Perth to LA. Yeah, we'd go to... We'd virtually... We'd go to Sydney. So yep. then we'd go three hours ahead. We'd go... And then... We'd, as we're crossing over, we'd pretty much be traveling back like 18 hours or something. But by the time we land, it would be about... It'd probably be like the same time as when we left in a way or some shit. I Crazy. don't know, right? It's fucking weird. Insane. That'll be a fun time. Fun trip, America. Oh, I yeah. reckon it'll be a lot of fun. I know there's a lot of crazy shit, but... A lot of fun shit too. A lot of fun shit, bro. It's got to experience it, no doubt. Well, we've got to go now, but we appreciate you guys a lot. Much love. Thank you for the kind messages. Short um, episode, but jam packed. Yes, I yes, so I do myself. think we did quite well yeah. for the time that we have here. Um, we had meetings beforehand. Yeah, it sounds professional, but they were just little meetings. Um, we needed to get that done, get the episode done, and yeah, apologies for the shorter episode, but maybe it will work better for your week. Who knows? You might need the little short one. Most definitely. Anyway, much love. We'll see you next episode. And also keep your eye out for the live show. We'll be posting that. I'm not sure when because we don't yeah. actually have the audio yet, but that will go out. Yes, it will sound different. Um, you won't be able to hear the crowd because they didn't all have microphones. They were a bit quiet at the start. They were, but forgive us, bear with us. And yeah, it's going to be a good year. That's that, bro. Much love. Thank you for listening to the Jamo and Dylan show. Make sure to subscribe to the boys on YouTube and share the podcast with a mate.